This is a Showmark unispooler, uh, specially configured for a uh, wire cleaning process where we've got the payoff section and the take up section uh, built on two separate frames and they could be separated as far as required by the process uh, to feed the wire through a cleaning tank. It could also be an annealing furnace or any other process where you need uh, to put you know, something in between a payoff and the take up. And these two sections can be separated as far as needed. Um, this uh, particular machine has a, a few uh, interesting features on it. One of them is our uh, tail stocks, which here I'll stop it momentarily. <coughs> um, the tail stocks are used whenever you have a, uh, a spool that might be uh, heavier than what can be supported by just a plain cantilevered shaft. These are 15 millimeter shafts on this machine, which we would normally uh, spec for about a 15 pound load, uh, maybe 20 pounds if it's a, a narrow spool that can be uh, mounted close to the bearing. But with the tail stock, you can put about a 50 pound spool on there. So we've got that on both the payoff and the, the take up sides of the machine. Uh, we also have a uh, closed loop electronic brake on here where we're monitoring the diameter change of the payoff spool with an ultrasonic sensor below it that constantly monitors the diameter change and as that spool gets smaller it'll lower the amount of current going to the brake to reduce the amount of, of torque generated by the brake uh, with the goal of maintaining uh, constant tension. It does a pretty good job of that. Um, moving over, uh, we've got five inch diameter guide wheels on here and this assembly here is a combination length tracker where we've got a high resolution encoder on the back side of it uh, measuring the material that's wound and also uh, built into it is a an optical wire brake sensor. So if the the material either uh, runs out or breaks, the ma machine will sense that and automatically stop. And we have a switch on the side of our control box to turn that function off or on. Sometimes at the beginning of a run you want to turn it off until things get tightened up enough. Or even some, once in a while you have uh, a fiber or a wire that's so fine that the sensor might have trouble picking it up, in which case you might want to bypass its function to eliminate uh, false stops. Um, so the, the wire path is around here. This, right now we have uh, bare fiber optic wire on here, so it's very fine. It might be hard to see, but it's running around that guide wheel under here and you know, presumably through the cleaning tank in this section, round up over to our traversing unit, where we've got the ability to adjust for the spacing of the wire on the uh, take-up spool with, with this dial here, with this ratchet. And then here you adjust the turnaround points of the traverse to match the spool flanges. And again, just like on the other side, we have our <coughs> tail stocks. So the other unique function of this machine is that normally a standard uh, winder or unispooler turns the take-up motor at a constant RPM. So as that spool builds up, the linear rate of the, the wire running through it will increase proportionally. Uh, this machine uses a closed-loop uh, speed controller that's reading the speed directly off of our, our high-resolution uh, length tracker. It's converting it into a, a speed. And here we're able to set a desired linear speed that's right now set for 20 feet per minute and if I turn it on there'll be a slight delay but it'll start running and, and that's the actual speed there right now I have a, the other thing right now too is we have a length tracker on here as well it was set to stop automatically at 10 feet which it reached that's why it stopped I'm going to reset that and it will start up again momentarily here it goes I can go down to a, a much slower crawl. In this, this machine, this customer wanted a very slow machine. So 
Right now it's controlling at 15 feet per minute. You can see it's a very smooth, gradual wind. I can increase, let's go up to 40 feet per minute. You can see it speed up. And this one is set to a maximum of 50. It can be much faster if that's the requirement. But here we're, uh, uh, I think I said before, it's set for 10 feet, it's set for 100 feet. And when we reach 100 feet, you'll see it stop. These two controls here are the indicator for the brake on the payoff. And here I can raise or lower that, that brake setting. But here we're about to hit 100 feet and you'll see it stop. So that's it. Thank you very much.